Hi. Hi, everyone. Let me tell you a little bit about the tawny owl, because the tawny owl uh, has really found a place here, and especially here at the feeding area. Of course, there are a lot of mice at that feeding spot since we throw in a lot of food for the birds, actually. Yes, those mice also get fat, and the owl knows that very well. That's why you should take a look. We have some nice videos of what the mouse has to endure from the tawny owl. Because, for example, on the night of August 7, he's also here. And then he grabs a mouse which runs over the tree trunk here. Yes, that are spectacular images. Spectacular builds. And, uh, and August 8, then he's here again, and then he's also chasing a mouse. And you see that mouse jumped into the air, and oops, he just didn't get it. Too bad for the owl, but luck for the mouse. And, in the night and on the night of Monday, August 9, he sits for a long time in his favorite place. I'm walking there now. Look. Then he sits on this branch. And when you see the night camera, and you see the eyes of the owl, they light up nicely. He was in that place for a long time. And eventually he flies away. And then he sits there on the tree trunk. He actually sits there for quite some time. And from there he tries to catch another mouse. Such a great thing. And that you can experience it Wednesday night. August 11 is in that tree again. Another attack on a mouse, unfortunately missed, but he catches a lot. If it continues like this, I hope that one day a bus of mice will stop, because then I think we'll come up short. And Friday night he was there again, and he dives to the ground too, probably another prey, but that was hard to see. But in any case, he totally found it here. So let's hope that spring has a lot in store for Tony Owl. I'm curious. I hope you like the beautiful images. It is very special to observe a Tony Owl at night. I love it. I hope you too. And if you think so too, then you know. Thumbs is up. Till next time. Bye. Bye.